will it be the newest member to the UFC roster, Jalson D'Souza? Don't blink here, Simon. I'm telling you, this one could end quickly. No, I completely agree. We know that uh, he's, those knockouts on his record has Macangale, but training with Mike Munui, we know that Jalson Sauce's stand-up ain't going to be any joke. Fantastic boxing pedigree, the Munui family, that uh, Mike passes on to a lot of the guys at PFA, one of the most outstanding gyms in the history of mixed martial arts in Cape Town. Um, but yeah, it's that power that goes through the guard that you've got to be worried about from Macangale. He's knocked out people through this guard for the past, and there's that big looping right hand we've seen before. You know, for those top fighters, though, the ones that come up through the ranks that, you know, become champions and become those top guys, they have to be able to handle these physical specimens like Ezeko Makingele. And this is a big test for Jalson Souza. We've heard about him for a while. We've heard about his game and how he may be able to come in here and really make a splash. Well, uh, this is one heck of a draw. First time out to be dealing with Gorilla. Nice and tight from Salsa, though. Nice leg kick. Pushing forward a little bit, he's fainting the takedown, looking like he's going to change levels, comes back up again. But uh, saying that, McIngale scored with that right hand just uh, about twice now already. And uh, he wouldn't want any of that power, but South is certainly not cowed, still happy to come forward. Goes for the body kick. Good timing from McIngale. Bit of wrist control from Sousa, just trying to defend, looking right for the arm. Sousa trying to use that jiu-jitsu, looking to neutralize the big man, but he ate one big right hand, and you can already see the damage on the face of Jalson Sousa. Double from Sousa, I can get a good scramble from Zico. Great takedown of fence from Zico Macangale against a guy who's been taking down people for years in Jalson Sousa. Just defending nicely, he's got the one the hook as Makangele. Just controlling through the neck. Sousa is just going to wait for the timing and switch and turn around to his right and take his opponent down. Just waiting for the right time to take his balance. So strong on his feet. So he's like trying to drag him down to the ground here, Simon, as he is stuck like glue to Zico Makangele. Yeah, he's just and defending just beautifully with down that left. here on Gorilla. He's still got that left butterfly hook in his Macangale, defending the turn. Salsa was able to take him down, but ended up wow. underneath. And some nasty, nasty hammer fist coming in for Macangale. Ooh. Salsa's trying to get back to his feet. He's taking some nasty shots. Oh, Referee Bob Kerrigan is looking. He's really not he going anywhere. He's taking here, a lot Simon. of shots. They're going to have to stop it. He rolls, he rolls over. Through. Zico is on top. Still taking some shots. But he's able to defend and finally roll over, but he's taking a lot of hammer fists and still continues as Mackengel is not letting up. Oh, it looks like he's slightly he's dazed. He's wearing himself out. He's still trying to defend. Some really nasty hammer fists coming right through. He looks like he's finished. He's not defending himself anymore. Barakojan is still looking. He's holding onto one wrist. There's really not it's much coming from him. They're going to have to stop it. It looks like Mackengel has won the fight. Cracking performance. Wow, the gorilla. The Gorilla in the Mist getting it done tonight. What a performance, man. There was nothing technical about that. That was just a beatdown. That was just brutality. It didn't matter what D'Souza threw at him. He was able to transition out of it and just continue with the hammer fist. It seemed like that motor could go on forever. Simon, I'm extremely impressed with Zico Makingele. What'd you make of that fight? Yeah, just we talked whether it would be strength and power over technique, and, and then so it was. There was very little Salsa could do in that situation. That's just a lot of fun to watch. Let's take a look at the Restonic action replay. Like I said, nothing pretty about it, Simon. I mean, he just imposed his will, and that was all he had to do. Is he going to have to grow as he goes? Absolutely. But when you got strength like this, and you can just punch right through these submission attempts, that is pretty impressive. Yeah, Salsa there looking for the armbar, perhaps, but Macangale just, just too strong. I mean, Salsa tried the wrist control. He's on his back, 
and he's trying to prevent the ground and pound and holding on to his opponent's wrist. But McIngale has just got incredible arm strength. And it was, that was the turn that tried to sweep his opponent and turn him round, but McIngale is just so top heavy. And there was some nasty ground about coming in from all areas. South was trying to get it back up to his feet, but McIngale was having any of it. That pound, you can see he's holding on to the left wrist of McIngale for dear life. So McIngale just resorted to the big right hammer fist. And it's the defense from South there that starts going out the window, and Bobby Caraginides rightfully concerned for the wherewithal of his opponent and calls the fight off, but just absolute one-fisted power, the likes I think we haven't seen in the welterweight division for quite some time. Superb performance. Who in the welterweight division wants some of that? Ladies and gentlemen, referee Bobby Karijanidis has called a stop to this contest at three minutes and 40 se 46 seconds of the first round, declaring the winner by TKO due to strikes, Zico the Gorilla Makengele! I'm here with your winner, the Gorilla, Zico Makengele. Zico, an absolutely perf superb performance. Three wins now in your third pro career, and it was a win against a very dangerous jiu-jitsu opponent, and you'd finished him on the ground. You have to be happy with that performance. Yeah, but the people here, they have a three combats in London. And then they have a great jiu-jitsu in the CCP. They have a great jiu-jitsu in the CCP. Merci à tous. On a été mis dans la côte, dans la rue. Je suis tout pour la petite casse. Je suis tout pour la petite casse. Merci beaucoup. Bon, bon, on a tout pour ça. La peau, on a tout pour la boue. La grâce n'a pas eu lieu. C'est ça. Il a juste dit comme ça. Il a juste dit qu'il s'est mis. Il est coach. Tous nous, les gens, les champions, les gens, tout le monde, les gens, nous faisons ce qu'ils font. Et il est sponsor. Il est sponsor. Um, Le Martin and Hipman call. It's them who are building him. They are building him. They are making him to be where he is now. And Coach Darrell, they want to show him grappling. Nah, he doesn't know much to talk because he doesn't talk too much. He always talks in the cage. So let's just talk about your 3 0 now. You are an absolutely outstanding talent, a very exciting fighter. You're 3 0. What's next for you in the welterweight division? Because I want to see you fight as soon as possible. Yeah, but Lobby Boy, Ogagne. Ozo ozo linga ni ni nambatu oyo po komba musuzani olingi bana ni po yo obunda na bango senti uto ba ba panda trois personnes oyali kolo pona moko te te roba mingi te oh nyo sabo tia buti to obunda na isoka boma kaho boma ngao 